we have a reason to praise him. We have a reason to say it's no ordinary worship. We're not crazy. I know that you go into school sometimes, sir, going to teach you class, and I think you pull up at the, at the red light sometimes just giving God a praise. Somebody might look at you like you're nuts. Like, why is he praising? Why is he talking to himself? They don't know who you're talking to because you have an extraordinary supernatural praise, and it comes from deep within. What am I trying to say? In 2 Samuel's, Samuel, Sons of Solomon, rather, uh, 2, it says, I am the rose of Sharon. I am the rose of Sharon. But expressly and especially saying, I am the lily of the valley. Father, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for grace. We thank you because it is sufficient to keep us from falling and to present us before the presence of your glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be honor, glory, dominion, and power both now and forevermore. And so, God, because of who you are, we give you glory. Because of who you are, God, we can't help ourselves but Shabbat and Toda, Yada. We can't help ourselves but give you a hallelujah because indeed our hallelujah belong to you. And so tonight we thank you for healing virtue that leaves even right now, God, your garment and reach down, reach it down to the lowest air. We thank you, my God, for those who are not well, those uh, uh, for who are looking to go into surgery. Oh God, we thank you, my God, that you touch our people, our leaders, our people from higher dimension, those who have been with us and those who are not feeling well and and going through, I pray for special healing, my God, at the body of Christ. We understand that the kingdom suffered violence. We understand that the different things might ache and quake and, and shake us and rattle up our, 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 our fences and our cages. But you are our everlasting portion, more than world, more than life. Can we doubt your tender mercies, who through life has been our guide? Heavenly peace, divinest comfort. Oh, my God, with faith to dwell, uh, for we know who hears what hears before us. And you, Lord, do you do all things well. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for assuring us tonight that you are our lily. Uh, Brother Chris, there was something I was reading, and I recognize that there are one, over 100 different lilies. Over 100 species. Of lilies. lilies, lilies, like the flower, like the flower, lily, lily, lily. In, the in the valley. Bright morning, Father. Who are you talking about? The bright morning. Oh, are we talking the same thing? Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there's so many, uh, but there's something significant because I know I like to talk to people. You know, sometimes we might catch on because we don't know everything, but I, I know you know this that Jesus Christ is a lily of your valley, uh -huh. and I also know that. Lily having over a hundred species of itself um, rarely grows in a valley. Nothing grows in the valley. The valley most often is valley is desert, yeah. right? The bottom. the bottom and the sandy. Some talk about they're going to uh, Nevada. Nevada is a valley. In Nevada, people will go out there and say they're going to gamble and stuff. I, I've never gotten a chance to go all the way out there Maybe because I can't gamble. I uh, know I got no business gambling, you know, because um, he, you know, Jesus already. Gambling on the day. Thank you, you know, with my life. So hey, I'm not messing around with that. I'm going out there with the gambling stuff I had, I don't have, you know, come up with what, less than what I did have, you know, zero. You know, lots of us have lost our shirts. You're know, trying to gamble with the enemy, but the enemy, he has been. The thing is that he has been here before, the, from time began. So he is very uh, meticulous. He is very shrewd. And no wonder the Bible said, be as wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Mm -hmm. He knows so much that he can con you. I, I told somebody one time when I just came to the state, the, 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 they used to have this thing called a card game where the, the man used to sit on the street corner in the city. New York is a fast pace. You know what I'm talking about? Everybody hustling? Shuffle the yeah, shuffle the card and a little dice. They roll the dice and they had three cards and they pick it up fast and they, they do it slowly for a couple of times so you could win. And, and the Lord you in it. And I got up here with my cousin, and, and I was at Fordham Road, easy. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. I could win. You know, I went up there, and yes, I won. Like 40 bucks first, you know. And back in the 80s, it was a long time ago in Bethlehem. You know, <laughs> and tried it again. 
40, 40 became 80. He said, you can double your money, double or nothing, and you double it. And, and my cousin, a cousin of mine came from Jamaica, and he was like, oh, you think you can do better than that, man? That, that ain't nothing. And he taught me to just drop it everything. Drop the 80, you get 160. You know, drop the 80, never saw it again. You know, gamble. People, we cannot afford to gamble uh, our one soul. What will you give in exchange for your soul? Uh, you, Brother Chris said it, we gamble enough on a daily. So I ain't going anywhere else to gamble with anything I can see. Gamble with the spiritual already. I'm not gambling with the natural anymore because you will lose your shirt. Sometimes having lost everything, you are now in the valley. The valley because nothing is left when you're in the valley. You, you barely see rain. If you're in the valley, your, your throat is parched. You have problems. You can't find food. The trees are not blooming, growing, nothing. You can farm out there in the valley. It's pure sand. And in, with all the different species, the Lord is saying, in the midst of your nothingness, in the midst of your drought, uh, uh, Minister Apache, Anuki, in the midst of losing your shirt, wanting to jump off a cliff, wanting to curse God, wanting to ask like, like Elijah, why? why? Why why, you set Jezebel on me? Why, why I got this wicked woman trying to kill me? I got to run up in a cave. But the Lord is saying, I am in your valley. I am your lily. The only thing that you can tangibly uh, call your own and touch is me. I am the fearest of 10,000 to your soul. Lily in the, the valley. Lily represents hope. Lily, uh, if you have your pen or your, 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 your microphone, your, your recorder, Lily represents hope. Lily represents motherhood. Lily represents cleansing. Lily represents Mary. Lily represents the mother of Jesus, Mary. Uh, represents uh, uh, faithfulness. Lily represents virtuosity. Lily exemplifies and represents new birth. One who is coming out of dead desert stock, desert syndrome, desert lifestyle, drought, everything, all has failed. And nothing around seem to be growing. Nothing around seem to be getting watered. Nothing around seem to have any hope. Uh, but the lily, who that means friendship, lily, which means or symbolizes also devotion, symbolizes humanity, the, the second anniversary. What am I talking about? What are you talking about, Bishop? Well, Jesus came first to seek and to save him or they, those who were lost. But then he will come again, people of God, to receive you unto his own. The second anniversary, the second time, if you want to call it that, that he comes back. He will come for his own. And understanding that the second coming is no joke. We have to be ready. We can't be in the desert without the lily.